Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. Thank you for calling support. You're talking to Stella. How may I help you? Hi. Um, I have a message on my computer here uh, that my my screen is being blocked. Can you read me the proper message, miss? Um, it says that there's some sort of virus uh, and, and that it's stealing my information. Mm -hmm. um, it says it's stealing, like, my credit card. And it's stealing like photos on my on my computer. And it says to call. I'll take it for you. No worries, Miss. It says and to if call. If you don't mind me asking, Miss, I got it. Okay. Can you please help me out, Miss. What happened? What you were doing on the computer once you got this message? I was editing some photos for Instagram, um, and it and I must I don't know. It just appeared. And have you recently clicked on something? Or any kind of ad popping up on the screen or anything like this? Um, I don't think so, but I mean, I could be wrong. I, I don't know. Like, I, I might have clicked on something. I, I, it's hard to... Right, because the warning that you're getting on the screen, it usually comes if you have any bad program or an unsafe stuff which installed inside a computer, which mostly used for the bad purposes, like internet threats, cybercrime. So cybercrime? I, I'm not. I, I I don't use this computer for for crime. I'm, I'm I don't even know how to do that. I'm not asking you that you have done a, done something. I believe you accidentally clicked on something bad, which is creating the problem inside your computer. Okay. So I just need to know: Is this the first time you're getting any warning like this? It happened before as well. Well, no, I haven't seen something like this. It looks like it's like Microsoft. It's like I'm calling Microsoft, right? Right, miss. You're talking to Windows Support Help Desk. In okay. that case, miss, what I can do, I will guide you with some steps so that we can check the root behind the problem first and accordingly we can get it fixed, all right? Okay, yeah, that would, I, yeah, I just don't want, like, my photos are super important, and I really don't want those gone. It's alright, no worries, I'll check it for you. And before going further, would you please help me out, what is the make of your computer? Uh, this one, it's a Dell. And do you know the operating system, like it's Windows 7, 8, Vista 10? I think it's Windows 7, um, I'm not sure, where would I check that? It's all right if you don't remember. I'll do one thing. Look at the keyboard. Okay. In the bottom left of the keyboard, you'll find a key having a window sign on it, like a flag sign key. Um. Yeah, I see that here. Right. Just press and hold the window sign key, and while holding the key down, press R for Romeo. Window and R. Okay. I'm I'm holding it down right now. Window the the Windows button and R. Correct. Okay, I'm holding it down right now. Sure. As you press both the keys together, you'll find a run box appear on your screen. It must say run, type the name of the program, folder document. Oh, oh, it, yeah, it's Are here in the that? bottom. It's in the bottom left here. Yeah, I see it. Right. Now type inside the box, type in there, I explore, all in one word. I explore. Okay. Right. I like indigo. E X P L O R E. Okay. After yeah. I explore. Leave a space. Okay. Then type in there www dot. www dot. Okay. Help me. All in one word. Help, Help me. Um, like H E L P M E. Right. Help me. Okay. Dot. Yeah. Net N E T. Dot net. Help me. Dot net. Okay. I haven't done this before. Oh, would you please help me out. 
This is a remote tool that we're using to, so that we can check the problem. Okay. Okay, now what do I do? What you, now, would you please help me? What are you getting? Um, I'm still on that run thing that you had me type into. Right, click OK as done. Click OK on the run box. Oh, okay. Oh, um, another window opened. Um, and it says establish support connection. Um, be cautious right, of... Yeah, your name, type your name in. Okay. Right, that's a disclaimer. Type your name in. Okay. I type my name in. Mm -hmm. And as you're done with your name, I'll give you the support key. Uh, okay. Once you're ready for the same? Let me know. Yeah, I, I'm ready for that. All right. Okay, click continue. All right, I hit continue. Um, now look at the... Right, now look at the bottom. Click, click on run oh it's this big orange bar um click on run mm -hmm. and okay, if you get any other prompt on the screen click ok or yes okay it says do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this yes. computer yes click on yes right Okay. Once more, a prompt will appear on your screen. Click OK or Yes again. Okay. Uh, it says, Diagnostic Expert has invited you to join a support session. Right. Click on OK or Yes. Okay. Now I'm talking to uh, Ashley, right? Yeah, Elsie. Elsie. Yeah, that's me. I'm sorry. But What's Elsie, your my name? My name is Stella. I Oh, My name a... is Stella. You can see on your screen, if you have any pen and paper, please write down all this information I'm giving it to you. Oh, that's a pretty name. Can you see on your screen? Uh, Stella Williams, extension 1017. And, oh, is that your number? Right. Okay. Stella, that's a really pretty name. You too. Elsie, Elsie, what is the meaning of your name? Oh my goodness, I have no idea. <laughs> it's quite a unique name. <laughs> Thank you. You're too nice. I believe you have... Uh, well, I believe you got this information. Right? Uh, yeah, I have it. I want to keep this number and the case ID. Right, thank you. Okay. Is it the same one you're talking about? Yeah, that's what I was seeing. It's not going in. I'll check it for you. Bear with me for a few seconds. Okay. And you said you were doing something on the computer once you got this message. So, you know which, which website, which page you were on? I was on Instagram. Do you use Instagram? Instagram. I do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you clicked on something suspicious, like any ad, any kind of message, anything like that? I was clicking on a picture of a cat. I just wanted to see the cute kitty, and it, it, it turned out to be this. While I'm just checking it out, please bear with me. And is it the first time happening with you? It happened before as well. I've never seen it before. It's freaky. And any other problem f apart from this that you have faced earlier? No, I, I other than that, this computer's been fine. I I don't really do much more with it. I take notes with it, but that's really about it. Like for school, I'm in university. But as I can see, as I can see, this computer, uh, I believe so it's quite old computer, and you have not serviced it from a long time serviced it right how do you service a computer I've, I've never done something like that before take it to any technician for the cleanup servicing have you ever taken your computer to any technician i didn't know Did i had i didn't know there was such a thing 
Well, it was not happening earlier, but from last two or three months, we're getting lots of cases regarding the similar problem. So that's the reason it required to service the computer at least in a year or one and a half year. Really? I had so no idea. So whenever you have time, just clean up. I understand. Well, what happens these days as the, the crime rate is keep on increasing, once you browse the internet, you're getting lots of stuff popping up on the screen like ads, mails, links, prompts, updates, right? We accidentally click and allow that bad stuff inside the computer, which is sometimes harmful. Okay? So you need to be careful and do not click on which anything which is unknown to you. But as I can see, you have installed such app the applications or softwares inside your computer. You can see this? Yeah, I see that. Bar. You install all that stuff? I, I downloaded Weatherbug because I wanted to keep I wanted to keep on track of the weather because I don't know if I can wear a skirt one day or if I should wear pants, so I downloaded the weather bug. It sounded cute. It's alright. Because the software that you have installed apart from that weather bug, uh these all are the software which you use for the infected stuff which create infections inside the computer. Apart from that, you remember by, by clicking on something, installing in your computer, any ad, any prompt, any kind of uh, software that you have installed recently, you um, are in. Not really. You you'd installed it? That might have been my brother, I don't know. So you install all that software into it? Um, I downloaded Evernote, because that's what I take school notes with. These old softwares. On first or second of this month. Oh my. I'm not even sure. Oh, it might be a few seconds. I understand. Because the main reason of the problem you are facing today, you are using Windows 7. I believe you are aware about it. Windows 7? Okay, now, yeah. Now, as you are using Windows... I'll write that right. down. I'll take it again. Right. So here, this is the Windows that you are using. But the main thing is this, as you are using the Windows, which is currently not supported to Microsoft, Microsoft do not provide support to the Windows Vista, XP, 7, or anything like this, okay? Now, in that case, miss, uh, what happened is the security services get down. Okay, They get down, see. like, what do you so mean, like? Come, some of, if you can see this, once the computer is not supported to Microsoft, it is not getting any kind of updates or the security updation from the Microsoft server. That is the reason if you can see some of the Microsoft security applications are saying stopped. Stop means not working. Oh. Right? So these security What's applications a health key are and certificate really manager? Or my, what's Windows card space? Well, I've never seen that before. Well, uh, these all are the internal securities of the computer. Whenever you buy a computer, it comes with some inbuilt securities. Some of them are running, some of them are saying stop. Stop means not working. Okay. Apart from that, these things affect your drivers of your computer. You can see this. It's now having 810 infections in your computer. 810 you infections? Right. Did you do it? You can see the majority of your drivers are also saying stop. Stop means damaged. How these infections are coming, I need to check it. Bear with me. Poggers, that's crazy. And I don't think so the problem started. And do you do use your computer for anything personal too? Um, I don't like know. Like shopping, billing, banking? Oh yeah, like I go online and I buy makeup and, and shoes on there all the time. I mean, don't you? I do. <laughs> I love online shopping. It's so bad. Like, I'll have, like, a couple glasses of wine, and then I'll just start shopping, and it's so bad. I'll wake up, and there'll be, like, three receipts in my email, and I'll be like, Oh, no, what did I spend my money on? It's so bad. <laughs> it's all right. Be with me for a few seconds.
while I'm just checking it out. Please bear with me for a few seconds. Okay. Hello. While I'm just checking it out, please bear with me for a few seconds. Oh, okay. It sounds like you hung up. No, no, no. Don't worry. Okay. Bear with me for a few seconds. Thank you. I'm really surprised that they see this. And they don't, like, clue in that it says, like, Windows Server 2008 or Zen. <laughs> like, it just, it blows my mind. I just don't get it. I... Bear with me for a few seconds thus while I'm just doing some checks over here. Okay. okay. Because I don't think so the problem that you're facing today it's a normal concern. You are a victim of identity theft. Someone I'm what? Steal your information from your device. Identity theft? I'll check it for you. Oh my god. How do you know? Well, make sure one thing till the time. Well, there are lots of stuff which are we, we can see running in your computer which should not be running here. What's running? There are lots of running services if you can see this. Stop, stop, running, running. You can see this? Yeah. Some of the application which should not be running in your computer, they are currently saying running. Which is quite suspicious to me. Oh my Maybe god. Up the network no, you need to stop need that. To like, stop. Stop them. I will. Don't worry. And Mino, why don't you use any security to protect your computer? Because security? Because even if you're using a computer without security. Right. I thought the there was a defend. I thought there was a defender in there. Well, Defender is an inbuilt antivirus. It's not a proper security. What do you mean? Why wouldn't it? Let me tell you why. Let me tell you about it. Okay. A few things that you should know about all that thing or the mess that you're getting. Okay. First of all, for the future benefit, I'm telling you this because it was not happening earlier. But from last two or three months, we're getting lots of cases. So make sure do not click on anything which is unknown to you. Okay. Any kind of ad popping up on the screen, any email, any kind of the prompt, or any update. Try do not click on anything which is unknown to you. Apart but the computer, that, you the computer, like, anything. I'll start up the computer and it'll say, please wait, we're updating your computer or something like that. And I have to wait for like half an hour. That's the auto update. That okay. That is a different thing. That's the auto update. Okay? okay. But I'm not talking about that. I mean, if you're getting any update from the third party software in that way, do not click on that. Apart from that, if you need to install anything, download anything, use a good website for the same. Third thing that you need to install a cleanup kit in your computer and you need to run at least once in three months or once in two months whenever you have time. Okay? Fourth or the basic thing that you need to get as if you might use your computer for online shopping, billing, banking, I advise you get a security kit. Is it the only computer you have or you have other devices too? I have like a, an, an iPhone. Right. Because this network firewall security kit which covers your all devices, your computers, your phones, your printer, everything, whatever is wireless stuff. Now what well, my... security kit is all about is a pack of... Go ahead. The, um... 
like Cox Internet said that the router was supposed to do that. No, sir. Uh, that is a different security. I'm talking about the security kit, which is a pack of nine securities, which is a separate one. I believe some of them you might heard about, like antivirus, anti-spyver, anti-malware. I thought that Defender did that. No, Defender do not. It's, Defender is just antivirus. It never protects you from other categories. Apart from that, the security they will be getting is called banking security. It protects your banking activities. Email security, which protects you from the third party people who are trying to get access in your email address. A browser security, which protects your browser activities. IP security, which is really important to you because you are face suffering through network services or network infection. Yeah. And anti hacking security. So it's all in one security software which protect you from all kind of bad activities in future, okay? Which is easily available with the Walmart or the Microsoft stores. So even if you follow these four steps, you will never face any problem back in future. Okay, the so I need, to, I'm I need you to go to the Microsoft you, store? You can see here. I'll let you know about it. If you can see this? Yeah. The local address means your IP address on which your computer and your device are connected. But even if you can see here, some of the foreign addresses are saying established right yeah these foreign addresses are the extensions to which people are sending you the bad activities now what happens is once the people are sending you the bad activities your main motive is to access your information doesn't matter you use your computer for online shopping billing banking could be anything okay so even if you use your computer or anything if you can see there as you might have one device two devices but if you can see here it's showing 14 devices connected I don't think so you must have 14 devices no, I it don't. So that is the reason it's a, the problem you are facing today. It's not only a computer problem, it's an IP address issue. I'm running a quick scan so that we can check this computer is safe or not. And I'll let you know what needs to be done. Okay? Okay. Do you do anything like online shopping, billing, banking, checking your emails, Facebook account, Instagram, could be any, anything? Well, I already told you that I use Instagram and I do some online shopping. And well, make sure till the time this issue is not fixed, you will not do anything personal. Okay? Not even check up Sorry, what? Star, your Facebook on this computer. How do Don't I get do how do I do personal. that? I'll let you know how to get it. Uh then let the scan complete. Then I'll check this computer is safe or not. If it's n not, I'll let you know how to get it fixed too. Okay? Okay. Be with me. Let me run that scan first. This is really freaking me out. You need not to get worried, miss. Uh, as from last few days, we're getting lots of cases. So we have the experience to handle it. Let the scan complete. Okay? Well, nothing of the, the information has compromised yet, okay? Now, how these thieves operate, if you, if you, you can see the same thing I told you here, okay? Their main mo motive is to get the monetary gain, and they are sending us a phishing website, impacted links, fake software, unauthorized spying activities to check up your information. Oh, my God. Okay? You need to be careful. I don't know, like, how do I... Stop. How so do I prevent the, this? Like, how do I not do this again? Well, in that case, let me tell you one thing. Let me share the report with you so it will be a clearly stuff or clear picture for you what needs to be done. Okay? First of all, uh, the report as I'm getting here, the infections we found here, it's been running in your computer from last seven days. Intensity of infections around 818. Oh okay. my god. And the software damage rate inside this computer is 26%. And the driver's damage rate inside this computer is 46%. This is the drive damage rate. Apart from that, I'm just telling you, miss, the browser that you're using is not safe. Browser like Chrome, Firefox Explorer, they contain some hacking files into it. It's really not safe to do anything personal. What browser should I use then? 
well once it is uh, fixed you can use any of the browser you need to make your computer and your IP fixed but you know what is this IP address is all about no I don't want I don't know what that is IP address also stands for the network address just like you have the address of your home it's the address of your network but if someone has the access on your IP address can easily check whatever you're doing on your computer your phone iPhone iPad tablet or whatever the device you use Okay. Oh my God. In that case, even if you clean up your computer, service your computer, even if you will buy a brand new computer, the same problem will appear or reappear again and again. So you require a technician who can work on your IP and fix your network. So I'm assigning a technician for you, which is also called as Microsoft Certified Technician. That is of the level five. Okay. The level five technician. Right, it is also working on the network and IP cases. All right. Okay. These technicians uh, will, as a certified Microsoft technician, they're gonna fix the computer for you. Fixing your computer means servicing it up, reinstalling all the Microsoft softwares, drivers, remove all the hacking files from the computer. They're gonna remove all of your information from the server, like your passwords, your banking activities, or whatever you have done till now. Then they're gonna fix the network for you. Fixing your network means, first of all, they're going to remove that foreign extensions or the foreign ad addresses. Then they're going to reconfigure your IP address, make your IP encrypted instead of pneumatic form, right? Just like your IP address was 192, just like this, they will make it in a dotted form, okay? And as the work is done, they will be activating that entire hacking security or that network firewall security for you. All right? Okay. I don't know what a lot of this means, but... So there are two ways. I understand. So there are two ways to get this technician. Okay. Uh, one way is to we can book up the appointment. Our technician will come at your house and get it fixed for you. Or else you can get it fixed online. The difference in between, uh, if I will book up the appointment right now, it will take around five to six days to send a technician at your place. The online fixation will take next six to 90 minutes to get it fixed. So it's all your choice. You want a technician to come at your place or you would like to get it fixed online? Well, like what time of day would they come? Uh, well, miss, they will come on weekdays. They will. They are not working on Saturday, Sundays. Okay, so like today is Wednesday. Well, I'll according to your area. Sorry? Today is Wednesday. They will probably come till, till Monday. Okay. Like, are they, are they cute, or? Uh, I'm sorry, miss, I didn't like, get you. Like, are they cute? Like, would it be worth it for me to have them come here? Like... They will work as the other technicians work. They will come at your place and fix your computer. Okay, I, I, I guess you don't let me know that. All right, I just was wondering. I don't know. All right. Let me just check the warranty of your computer so I can give you the better suggestion. How old this computer is, anyhow? I, I got it when I first started university, so probably like two years ago. But it's meant in 2006. Oh. Be with me. While this computer is out of warranty and it's a networking glitch, so they will be charging you a one-time fee to fix up the problem, okay? So okay. So appointment is quite a costly option to get it fixed, and they will give you the one-time fixation for the same. The online fixation is quite cheaper than the one appointment. Okay. But it is giving you the two options. Either you can go with a one-time fixation, or else you can extend the warranty of your device. Extend the warranty means they will fix the problem and give you the future warranty for the same, which is also called as the Microsoft Professional Plan. Into this, the fixation will include plus a future warranty, plus every month you can call for the monthly services, Apart from that, it covers your all devices. I mean, if you're buying one more computer, two more computers, it covers your all devices. 
and these days if you will activate them up it will be giving you a network firewall as well the nine security kit I told you about they will activate that network firewall too okay so the professional support stands for two types either the three years or a lifetime the three year support uh, will be good to go for the five devices because till three years the fixed service or support plus network firewall okay okay so it's, it's go with a lifetime too I can check the prices for you would you please help me with your zip code my zip code it's nine five uh -huh. one three four nine five one three four be with yeah. me okay Is calling from California, right? Yeah. And Where are you? Well, Mr. Call has landed to date in Ohio. Oh, in Ohio. Oh, cool. I have a cousin there. All right. That is nice. Nice to hear that. Well, Mr. Totally. Call, as for this, I will not suggest you for the appointment because they charge you per hour fee for the fixation, which is quite not good. Okay. How much is it per hour? Yeah, bad in typing. Uh, the per hour fee will be one nine nine. Oh my God! It takes two hours at least to get it fixed. It will be just double, and it just gives you seven days of support without any security. Now, if you extend it uh, with the limited time period for the one-time fixation or the extended warranty, I'll let you know about it. Let me just confirm it again. Okay. Be with me. The Microsoft Professional Support is good to go with your all devices. Even if you're buying a new computer, it's good for that one too. This is called the Microsoft Professional Support Plan. There are two plans available. One is for the three years and one is for the lifetime. Okay. Oh, it so says, it, it says one incident. No, it's not for the one incident. It's one incident if you're taking it to the store. But here, uh, let me tell you, even if you go with the online support plan for the Microsoft, if you go with the three-year one, the price will remain same. And if you go with the lifetime, you'll be getting the discounted price for the same. Be with me. It will be 799. The two plans available for the same. That's a so lot of money. Your convenience. Oh my God, I could buy like... I a whole lot of shoes with that. Um, how much is the one-time fix? If you go with the one-time fixation, it's possible that too. It requires a computer and a network fixation. Bear with me. The computer fixation price will be around forty-nine dollars, and the network fixation will be let me check is one four nine. So like two hundred dollars. So, uh, right. And one more thing I just need to know is uh, there are separate plans. If so, you have someone in your house will be less than 20 years old or more than 50 years old. Do I? Do you have anyone? Who's well, no, old? I live in a dorm room. Uh, anyone else? No, miss. The age I'm talking about, okay, who is more than 50 or less than 20. Well, I'm, there's probably a few of my dorm mates that are less than 20 years old. Right. The reason why I'm telling you for the students and the senior citizens, we do have a different plan. Okay. Yeah, well, I am a student. You, even if you are taking it, you're a student. Yeah, but what I'm 21. You you're 21. All right. No worries. Uh, we can just take you as a student here. Be with me. Let me just check up the student plans. Okay. If you are a student, there are the separate plans available. That is for one year, three years, a lifetime. I've been on the lifetime phone for, will cover for, for the 35 for minutes years. now. Okay, I'll check it for you. 35 minutes. Leave the mouse. Let me write it down for you. Oh, sorry. Okay. If you go with the one year plan, it will be costing around 249. If you go with a two years plan, it will be costing you around two nine nine. I'm sorry, it's three years. 
and the lifetime plan will be 499 so you can choose this one which will be a student plan okay i mean like i probably will get a new computer like after i'm done my undergrad I understand, but the security is not for one device. The professional support for the Microsoft, which covers your all devices. It covers up to your three computers, any one of them. And this lifetime covers up to your seven devices. Up to seven, okay. How many devices does the three here cover? Let me just write. Let me just tell you here. If you go with the one year support, that will be giving you one year network firewall. That nine securities I told told you about. Net network firewall covers your all devices. Okay. And this support that you'll be getting it cover up to your one computer. Okay. And this is transferable. You can transfer the warranty from your one device to other one whenever you want. Okay. If you go with this three year plan. It gives you five years network firewall and which covers your all devices and this plan will be supporting your three computers. Okay. And so what's the three year the part of the five year plan? I beg your pardon? What's the three year part of the five year network firewall thing? Like why would I get three years? but then five, I'm confused. Security, it's a security for five years and support for three years. Oh, it's but the support. Even once your support expires, the security will remain same. Okay. And the lifetime will be covered up to your seven devices. And that's for the firewall and for the support. Right, that is correct. I don't know, like, I don't know if I want to spend $500 today. So, well, like... Well, your choice, if you are not ready, you can go with the minimum plan, too. Yeah, like, why don't we just do that? Which one you would like to go for? Like, the one-year one? Sure, you can do that, but it's quite beneficial if you go with a three year, just a fifty dollars difference. Oh, I guess so. Um, I guess I won't be buying any shoes this month. Um, yeah, I guess we'll have to do the three year. Are you the shoes lover? I love shoes. Don't you like? Oh my gosh, I'm <laughs> I love my shoes. I do love, but not that much as you do. Oh my gosh. I, there's like, there's this site online that I always get my shoes from and like I have subscription with them. So they always send me new shoes and it's so great, but I'll have to not do that this month now. Oh. All right. So which, which website you're talking about? You can suggest me. It's, um, I'll type it in here. Um, I'll go to the website. You're gonna love it. Sure. It's just fab.com. Yeah, and like, they have like all kinds of different oh shoes. God. I know, and they're all super cute. And they don't only, don't only sell like flats and stuff, but they also sell like boots. And like, they're so cute. But I have their VIP membership. And I, I get new shoes, see free right. shipping, and it's like so great. Like that is nice. Yeah. Pay the membership. Um, I th I think it's like, I don't know. I think it's like forty dollars a month, but you get like all kinds of like their boots can be so cute. Like some of these boots are just adorable. <laughs> Like, look at this, $40 for this heel boot. Like, are you kidding me? $20. <laughs> yeah, like, it's so, like, for the VIP, like, it's awesome. Right, that is correct. Really nice. I know, I'm gonna have and to, like... 
Thank I'm you for put, the suggestion. I will try that. I am putting that into my bag. I'm going to do that after. <laughs> that is nice. So you can do it later on. Don't do anything right away. Okay? Oh, right, so right. You've got, like, you just get me, like, all worked up about shoes, so. <laughs> that is nice. So bear with me for a few seconds. Let me register you for the services. Don't do any kind of online shopping, billing, banking activity till the time it is not fixed. Oh, but I really want those so shoes. Okay, fine. Seconds. I'll wait for those shoes. Okay. Just wait for one hour. Just wait for one hour in that case. It takes 60 minutes more to get it fixed first. Okay? Okay. So bear with me as we would like to go with a three-year security and support plan. Yeah, let's let's do that. Sure. Bear with me for a few seconds while I'm just registering you for the services. I just request you, uh, first of all, help me with the device that you have so I can help them in getting it registered with them in the security server. So would you please help me with the devices that you're using? Oh, um, okay, so I have, like, a laptop. Like, my laptop. The, what, it's an X-Men computer, right? It is in the make of your computer is showing X, X-E-N. Oh no, it's a Dell. And um, I have an iPhone. Right. I have an iPhone 8. Alright, apart from that, do you have any printer? Uh, no, I don't. I use the university's printers. Right, so you do have just two devices, right? Yeah. All right. And apart from that, even if you are using or if you are buying a new computer, new device, you need to call technician to update them regarding the same. Okay. Oh, there okay. Like if I update like an iPhone 10 or something. Right. That is correct. Okay. Uh, so be with me. I'm giving you some of the information that you need to keep with you, and I just need to know once the work is done, uh, because we are not paying it right away. How would you like to make the payment later on? The pay after fixation. Oh, I don't have to pay right now. Okay. You need to pay. So I can get those shoes? No, not too, because if your computer is not safe. No, no, that's what I'm telling you. Your computer is not safe for the transaction. That is the reason you're not paying anything right away. Oh, okay. You need to okay. pay after fixation once it is safe for the same. Okay. Now for the same, I just need to know how would you like to make the payment? You want to pay through a card or you want to pay through a check? Oh, I don't even have any checks. Um, like, my parents use checks, but, um, like, I guess, like, a visa. I'll use my visa. It's all right. So I'm giving you certain information that you need to keep with you. If okay. You pen and paper. First of all, write down this number. Okay. I'm writing it down for you here. Okay. Support team number who will be giving you three years of support. For the next three years, if you face any trouble, just call this number. And you will be getting a global support. Global support means it's all over around nine countries like United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, right? Oh, so like so if, if, I, like if I'm to traveling? Go out, keep that number with you. Right, if you are traveling, you can keep this number with you. Oh, nice. In okay. In case if you face any trouble. Apart from that, let me just tell you the name of the technical team. I'm assigning it for you. It's coming with the name of the wire. Okay. So you'll be getting all the legal documentation with the same name. Okay. Let me open up the registration form that you need to fill up. Stay with me. So you need to fill up this registration form so I can give you the technician's assignment. Bear with me. This is the form that you need to fill up. Start with the first name of yours, your email address on which you would like to get the paperwork, and the password will be one two three four five six. So okay. start filling up the form. Thank you. Oh, you want me to do it now? Yes, please. Okay. Hello? Yes, sir? 
Oh, I, I thought you had hung up. I was like, what's going on? Mob was just waiting for you. The password will be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Correct. Okay, did I type that right? Okay. Okay. It's your phone number without any space or dashes. Oh, okay. Um... Thank you. And if you have any alternate number, type that one too. Oh no, this is my cell phone. So leave with the mouse, let me select the package for you. Okay. Be with me for a few seconds. This is a laptop you're using, right? Yeah. Apart from that, you have an iPhone, right? Yeah. It will be asking your email address once again. Bear with me for a few seconds. You need to type your email address here. Okay. And the password will be 123456. Oh, it's okay. Sign in. Click on sign in. Mm -hmm. Request invoice. Oh, this button. Okay. Here. It's been done. Uh, you will be getting all the legal documentation on your email address. Okay, and I just need to know how do you check all those out your mail on the computer? Sorry, you just distracted me with those shoes. Uh, I just minimized that. Don't okay. buy the shoes right away, okay? Just wait for one hour. Okay. I just need to know, how do you check up your email on your computer? Um, I usually just use my phone. Uh, you need to open your email on your screen so I can give you the paperwork or warranty card for three years. I don't even know how to do that. It's like the university guy did it for me. He said just use my iPhone. Uh, it's all right. You can just use your Google for the same. Search for your university email address here and please sign in. Um, okay. Um, why is it not typing? It's still not typing. Just type your email sign in. I've never done this before. Be with me. Leave, leave it. Let me do it for you. Okay. I, I just use like my... Thank you. So luckily the U of, C, U of C doesn't actually have email, I don't think. I'm hoping. It is not giving any sign-in <laughs> option here. Do you have any other email address apart from this? I just use this one. You don't, don't you have any other one? No, I, I, I just use this one now because everything comes through on this one. So you never try to sign in your email here on your screen? 
No, never. I, he, the guy said to just use my phone. The tech guy at the university. Type here your email address. Type my email address in here. Okay, please. Okay. Okay. Done. Click on continue. Okay. Click on cancel. What what is this? No. What where did you find this? It's uh, extension it it's an extension email address. Just ex it will be saving your email in extension. I believe you don't want that, right? No. What are you installing on my computer? I am not installing anything. I I did it back. I don't know how to check up your email here. Yeah, like I said, I just used my email. Uh, I got my phone. On your phone. Bear with me. Can you use any other email address? Uh, uh, here we go. You can just type your email address here. It says for the new, shel new shelter. Uh, bear with me, miss. I just need to transfer you to someone else, okay? For the same registration. I don't know how to check up your mail here. Okay? Uh, oh, but, but I, I like... don't want to take any risks. I thought we were... I thought we were getting along. I was really enjoying talking to you. You seem really I mean, smart, too. I do too. enjoy talking to you, too, but you're... Uh, well, the technician whom I'm, I'm trusting your line, he will be fixing up the problem, too, and giving you all the legal documentations as well. Okay, well, thank you. I appreciate it. You have a good day, okay? You, too, sweetheart. It's really lovely talking to you, and you definitely buy that shoes. <laughs> I will. You, you check it out. It's amazing. I hope they ship them to Ohio for you. I'm going to. Right away going to. <laughs> right on. Okay. okay. Bye. Sure. Bye-bye. Take care. Be online. Do not disconnect the call. I, I won't. I'll stay here. Thank you. <laughs> she forgot. She said she was in Ohio. They did actually email something here now. Thank you for being online, I'll see The site can... Uh... From uh, the team of technical team, how are you doing today? Hi, um, I'm okay. I'm just glad that we're getting this fixed. All right, not an issue, ma'am. I'll take uh, one and a half, one hour to fix your machine. So uh, please leave your computer as it is for the next one hour. I hope you don't have any plans to go out. Do you have any? Well, I was hoping to go out with my girlfriends, but I guess this is more important. So just be around for the next one hour. Let me fix the problem of yours, then I'll give you a call, okay? Please do not touch your computer. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna just hang up now, or you hang up the phone? I'll be giving you a call back, okay? Okay, well, I'll just I'll just stay on the line then. No, you can hang up the phone. I'll work on your computer. Please do not touch your computer. Let me finish the job. I'll take one hour to finish it. Then I will call you back. Okay, I really like the per the girl I was talking to before. She didn't yell at me. No, I didn't yell at you, ma'am. I was just saying. Basically, I thought that there is a line problem. And I didn't hear the single word. That's the reason. I heard that you have to stay online. You need not to stay online, ma'am. You just have to leave your machine as it is. Let me work on your computer, then I will call you back. Okay, all right. Um, I guess I'll just wait for your call then. Yeah, you just wait for my call. I'm sorry for that, but uh, uh, I I was not uh, rude and I was not loud. There was there was something wrong with the phone line. Okay, and it'll take an hour, right? 
Yes, it will take an hour. Just okay. be around. It's like, Just be around. It's like 8 o'clock okay, now, it so it'll be 9 o'clock by the time you're done. So I should have enough time to get to Brock's yeah, party, I okay. think. Yeah, uh, just uh, leave your computer as it is. You can do whatever you feel like. But for the next one hour, please do not touch your computer. Okay, I'll just leave the phone then. Leave the computer, not the phone. Okay. Leave your machine. Okay. Alright? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'll just All leave right, the computer then. You. We'll talk to you. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. I'll okay. talk to you again. Okay. Bye bye. 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 Okay, so he hung up. He's going to do a bunch of work to this computer. I do have a stopwatch going. So we were on the call for an hour and one minute. So this is more time we're wasting. They haven't even taken a credit card number. They just took my address. <laughs> so let's just wait and find out what they do here. And put on some music while we wait. Do you guys like that 80s smash hits from our from our intro? Or should I pick something else? The 80s smash hits. It was it says travel back to the 1980s with retro hits from Ready Player One. It's exciting. Um let me see here. I did work in Brock's party, and I did not find out what that song is. I haven't figured it out yet. I haven't gone back and checked. Um, but I will. I certainly will. Uh, okay, so he's running C Cleaner, which is all fine and dandy, but that's not something you pay for. Um, potential threat. Oh, it's a pop, potentially unwanted program. That would probably be like, um, uh, I'm trying to find input capture. There we go. Every time I move my mouse over the uh, the virtual machine, it gets caught <laughs> by him. Um, okay, perfect. So yeah, we'll just wait. Uh, but I did work in Brock's party. I should make it in time. So I really don't want to miss Brock's party. Like, it's going to be epic. So we got ourselves our timer. We're going to let that run. See what happens. And, uh, yeah, we need to pick different music than this. Uh, there was that radio version thing on here. Oh, yeah, no, that's actually not actually radio. I'm using Spotify, don't judge me. realized if I play music I'll probably get if I post this to YouTube I'll probably get hit for copyright so I better not do that <laughs> so I just probably just need to wait um, I'll kind of stay out of the screen so you can see the bottom of it one or more threats were detected he's uninstalling super anti spyware which Stella installed to begin with so that's interesting. It's interesting. They didn't even ask for payment. She's like, I think your identity is being stolen. And then she went and ran the tool that she had and said that there was no identity leaks. 
She's like, oh, never mind. <laughs> she also noted that we were running, she thought the manufacturer uh, was Zen or XN. I'm like, no. I'm pretty sure it was Adele. And she fell for it. Okay, what else is in there? I need to flip over so I can see it better. What is what are they quarantining? There's like Google. Premium trial. No, how are you going to play scam baiting simulator 2K19? <laughs> Believe me, it'll work. <laughs> He's been working on it for five minutes now. There should be some way of me like putting that like right there. Uh oh, I pushed a button. There we go. I should, I don't want to hold it. But I'll keep you updated here, folks. Seven, eight. Oh, this might actually take a minute or two. I mean, what I could do, because if all they do is install malware bytes and C cleaner, I could just go ahead and restart the 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 virtual machine, kick him out. Oh, what's he doing now? Steam un uninstallation is complete. He has system configuration open. Curious. He's going into the Chrome settings. Uh, she did actually install um, a, uh, a Chrome extension called Email Access Online, which looks like malware to me. Uh, <laughs> so that was interesting. Uh, uBlock Origin. Okay, I can get behind this. That's not a bad tool. I'm not going to say it's a bad one. So that's good. I mean, malware bytes isn't terrible either. Uh, he's opening Firefox now. <laughs> uh, where is he going for that? Oh, troubleshooting. He's refreshing Firefox, so it'll come up as stock. He's copying that number, which isn't the number I dialed. Um, this is so strange as they are using reason reasonably legit software here to do the clean. I've never seen them do the fix for charging. I haven't either. What is he doing? Tech help and a phone number. Where did he put that? Oh my God, he put it. Um, I have to hide my my video or my camera for you to see that. He put a, a toolbar in the bottom right of the, of the, do you see that? <laughs> so if I had tech, more technical help, um, <laughs> I would stop it. Uh, he, <laughs> I could call there. <laughs> Okay. I mean, they're really trying. Adblock Plus for for Internet Explorer. Like, he is protecting everything. I'm really surprised. Like, this is really... Like, he's putting legitimate software on here. I mean, I use Adblock. Do I use Adblock? I use Adblock. 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 Say that 10 times fast, Adblock Plus. I use that in um, in Chrome. I am shocked and amazed. But nonetheless, um, these guys are not legit in any sense. We have been on with him. 
with them for an hour and 14 minutes now. And they're still doing stuff. What else is he going to go ahead and install? A vast. I didn't even. Did they install that? I think he. I think he installed that. I think he did. So now we have a vast. We have malware bites. Oh no, he's uninstalling it. Oh yeah, uh, Earl Earl in the chat here says, uh, "I think we should be paying." Damn, they're gonna be angry on the real. Oh yeah, we're they're gonna be really really angry. Um, they're gonna probably Siski. I mean, I'm sure they will. <laughs> okay, he's uninstalling malware bytes now. What? What was the point of that? You know what? I bet you anything that when you call in three months for your checkup or your cleanup, they crossed the line when they got installed Steam. You're right, Nick. You're right. Um, Is he restarting? Oh, no, he's not. Uh, okay, so... What was I saying now? I'm just I'm just amazed. Okay, so like with the anti spyware, anti malware, anti the the, the 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 malware bites and the things and the stuff. Um I bet you what he they do is they just install it, run a scan, and then uninstall it. So they their trial never does that work? Does that work if if you don't have it in if you uninstall it and reinstall it, does your trial restart? I don't think that's true. He's installing security essentials now, which truthfully I probably should have had already on here. So that's my bad. Sorry, team. Sorry, chat. Probably should have had that on there already. But we wouldn't have gotten this far, so don't yell at me too much. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm just so shocked that they're actually installing legitimate software. So this guy's been working on it for, yeah, 17 minutes now. We were on the phone with, what was her name? I forget. Um, uh, not Stacy. Oh, uh, shoot. What was her name? I don't remember her name. It's going to bug me now. That's okay. It's not like it was her real name anyway. Um, junkware removal tool. Adblock plus. Okay. We're just waiting. I'm just so shocked that it's a junkware leaving computer. All right. We'll just let them do their thing. Holy moly. Yeah, he won't be able to do a restore point just because of the way that the machine is set up. Uh, that won't work for him. Oh, he's calling. Hello. All right, ma'am. Give me just one or two minutes more, and then you can check your machine, okay? Okay. What did you find? Was there anything really bad? Yeah, there were a lot of infections in your machine, which I have removed from a computer. Oh, that, that's good. And 
yeah and now if you're gonna use your machine you'll just feel like wow that's like a brand new machine for you that's awesome thank you so much oh you're welcome you're welcome anytime but okay uh all right do you know how to log into your email account um i always use it on my phone you only use in your phone. Do you remember your username and the password? Uh, well, no, because I. It was just whatever I had. Like I had the tech, like the tech guy at the university do it. All right. All right. So now, uh, see, uh, what we need to do exactly? See, we need to give you the proof that you have paid us money, and also you want that whom you have you paid money, right? Okay. You also need a proof. In order to send that proof, we need it, at least the, the email address, which should be working, right? So now what I can do for you, I'll just uh, help you to create a new email account for you, which will be used, which you can use later on on this machine if you want. You can use in your phone. Will that be fine with you? I guess. Um, that seems complicated. Uh, that's great. It's not complicated. It it will it will take around two minutes, max to max two minutes. Don't worry. So what you need to do exactly, you need to just write it down to use the password in order to remember that ID and the password. That's it. So you should be aware of G of Google, right? You should you should know what is Google. Yeah, I've used Google before. That's great. So we are. I'm just helping you to creating the ID on Google only, so that it really will uh, it will be familiar to you, right? Okay. So uh, please go ahead. Please go ahead and fill up this form. Like with my name and everything. Yeah, that's right. See, we are creating a new email account for you, so that's your personal stuff, right? Okay. I don't know what to choose for my university, or for my username. Oh, uh, that means the email address that you want to. Can I help you, or you can? Well, I guess I'll just use my name. Oh, no. Uh, or what's your date of birth? Just uh, enter your date of birth here. It's 1919 something, right? Enter your date of birth, the numbers. All right, it will be fine. Wow. Are you sure you are 94? Yeah. Oh, so what do you do in university? Um, I'm, taking, taking, I'm taking. I'm taking. Like I'm taking human ecology. Oh, human ecology. Great. Okay. Actually, I was born in 92. That's why I was shocked. You're 94. Yeah. Alright, please create a password in order to log in this account. And do write it down this username and uh, username and the password somewhere on paper so you will not forget, right? Okay. Um. Okay, I'll... The password, but don't tell me, don't tell me. Okay. Oh. Um. Okay. Your date of birth, your your birthday. All right, gender. Do you need my cell phone your, in your, there? Your phone number. Um, I see. I don't need your phone number. Your your email account needs your phone number. Uh, in that scenario, whenever you just forget the password, you just send simply send the text on your phone, and you'll be able to reset your password. That is for uh. phone number. I don't so know. Write it down your phone number. Uh, it, it's for the recovery mode. Don't worry. It's a safe. Okay. Click on next. Great. It's done. Please. All right. So. All right. That will be. All right. 
It's it's a mobile phone or what? It's my cell phone. It's like a prepaid phone. Wow. Prepaid. Yeah. So I pay like I I I buy minutes for it. But that's you don't do. Don't you have any other any other? No, this number? is no. This is my cell phone. I use it all the time. It's on my iPhone eight. The number it is correct. Please recheck the number. Yeah, because you called me on that, right? All right. Uh, I don't know why it's not checking. Where are you? Uh, no. Don't you have any other phone number? Or, or landline number? No, I just have my cell phone. It's not taking. You are from US, right? Yeah, I'm in California. I'm in San Jose. It's not taking the number. What the heck is this? Let me try s some other thing. I okay. Don't know why it's not taking your phone number. I don't know. It's really weird. It's really weird. That's why I was just checking. What the heck is this? Is it because of the viruses? No, I have to move all the viruses. Your machine is virus free now. All right. So please enter the details one more time. All right. Okay. Enter the password. Okay. Enter the phone number. Oh, we don't support this number, provide another one. I don't have another number. Hello? Yes. Can you please confirm me the network provider you are using? I'm using T-Mobile. Uh, do you ha uh, can you can you enter your your fr your your parents' phone number? My parents' phone number? Yes, your mother's number or your father's number. Um, I guess so. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. <clears throat> okay. Again, your friend's number. Try your friend's number. Um, I don't know what friend to use. Oh, see, that is not. That's not for me. That's for your recovery. For example, in future you forget the password. The Yahoo will send a text on that number in order to reset the password. It's not for me, it's for you only. Okay, I guess I can use... your friend's number. I guess I could use Brock's number. Uh, I'm gonna see him in a yeah, little bit. Can, please. Okay. Oh, thanks, got it. <laughs> it has taken. <laughs> okay. Alright, alright. Okay, continue. All right, so you have to call to your friend and tell them uh, they will receive a key, the verification code, and you have to tell me that code. Should I call you in five minutes? Um. Yeah, I, I guess so. I guess I'll just call Brock and ask him. Uh, all right, sure, sure. Please call them and ask for the key, okay? Bye-bye. Okay, bye.
Hello? Uh, yeah. Hi. Uh, listen, my name is Roger Tech, who is working on your machine. Hi. So have your friend received a code? No, he didn't. He didn't get a call at all. Alright, okay. Didn't get a call too. Alright, so why? Alright, so you have disconnected the station, you know this? Yeah, I, I have to get going to my, 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 the party, so I'm really late for Brock's party and you said it would only take an hour. Yeah, but alright, it's, it's all done, so we need to just uh, transfer the call to the billing department. I don't think that's necessary, though. Why? Um, what you've been doing is a tech support scam, is that correct? It's not a scam. Can you explain to me what, how it isn't a scam? Because we have, we have Prodigy services, right? Well, I mean, you... In the machine. Yeah, so you installed Malwarebytes, you installed CCleaner, which uh, CCleaner is a free tool. Uh, you, you also installed that, right? a yeah. You installed a trial of malware bytes and then uninstalled it. Okay. You installed a vast, okay. a trial of it vast, and then uninstalled it. Uh, you put a phone number in the, the toolbar. So help me I understand. The so, yeah. So help me understand how that's worth two hundred or three hundred dollars. These free tools. All right. See. Uh... Have you noticed other things that I have to reset you all the browser? Yeah, I noticed that. There was nothing wrong with them. It was a virtual machine that's probably about three days old. I beg your pardon? It's a virtual machine that's probably three days old. There's really nothing wrong with it, man. All right, so why do you have callers? Well, I'm just trying to understand, like, if you know that what you're doing here, because your, your technician, Stella... She opened up Netstat. She also opened up, uh, showed me some services that weren't running, which by default don't run. And that's the design of it. Um, mm -hmm. But, oh, hung up. We're done. There you go. <laughs> All right. She's done. Interesting. He didn't want to hear any of it. Didn't want to hear a thing. Old Firefox data. What did he do here? Did he uninstall OpenOffice? No, it's still there. He did uninstall Steam. Oh, that guy. So we wasted a total of an hour and 48 minutes. Guys, write that down as a Rocky Shores record. Wow. Okay. So first thing, um, I need to figure out how to share this. Um, close the virtual machine. I'll boot it back up here really quick. Um, we have email from the scammer. Three emails. So number one, oops, is this please sign authorization agreement that we didn't sign <laughs> so that's there please sign an authorization agreement that was sent and then shortly after was our registration details including the unencrypted password she asked me to enter one two three four five six and the fake information i gave her three hundred dollars and then shortly after we hung up, feedback for support. <laughs> so actions performed. Cleared junk files. Internet Explorer reset and optimization for better internet surfing speed. Disk cleanup done. Disabled unwanted startup programs. Uh, virtual memory set to recommended. Unused third-party applications removed with, with customer approval. I didn't approve for Steam to be uninstalled. Ad blocked installed on all the browsers on the machine. Adware cleaner run to fix browser issue. Windows updated to the latest definition. Data backed up on external device. What? Automatic backup scheduled. Removal of viruses, malware, coup face. Trojan done successfully. Jaybird Trojan removed. Anti-exploit installed and activated. 
a new system restore point created after finishing the work. Uh huh. Interesting. Interesting indeed. 